Hey guys, Stuart here. Welcome back to Sheetify CRM. Today's focus is to walk you through how you can build a free website using Google Sites in minutes. Google Sites is a completely free website builder that anyone can access as long as you have a Google account. This could be a paid or free Google account. To get started with Google Sites, simply head over to your browser and type in sites.google.com and that's gonna take you to this interface. Then simply navigate over to the left-hand side to build a website from scratch or you can choose from a pre-made template. Down here, we have a few basic website templates that we can get started with. For those of you that do not like these website templates and are interested in leveraging a more premium Google Sites template, then I've actually created a professional Google Sites website template for both a service-based business and those that want to create an e-commerce website using Google Sites. If you're interested in learning more about these two premium Google Sites templates that I created for small businesses, you can check them out in the video description. For the purpose of today's tutorial, I'm going to leverage this small business website template, Salon. And this will take us to the Google Sites website building interface. If we navigate up to the top, you can see we have these pages. Let's navigate over to the services page. Here we have the services page, about, testimonials, and then if we navigate down to the end, we have contact. Take your time to navigate through each of these different pages. To add additional pages, simply navigate over to pages on the right hand side. And here we can jump between the different pages and we can also create a new page. Simply name your page and then click on done. And you can see that page has been added to our menu. We can also move that page around and place it where we like in our menu. We can also add that page as a submenu if we like. And as you can see, we now have a submenu. I'm going to move this and add the book now page below testimonials. We can also navigate over to themes and here we can change the overall look and style of our website by clicking on these default themes. Let's navigate back over to the homepage and you want to take the time to navigate through each of the different pages as well as the different themes. I like the look of this vision theme. You can also play around with the different theme colors. You can also choose a different color based on your brand colors. Now, the reason I like building a website with Google Sites is that it's completely free to do so and it can seamlessly connect with our Sheetify CRM, which is an all-in-one Google Sheets CRM and business toolkit built for small businesses. In just a few minutes with our Sheetify CRM, you can produce a booking form and embed that form on your Google site. Okay, let's navigate back over to home and then click on insert. Each of our website pages are made up of these different elements. For example, if I click here, I can change the image if I like. I'm going to upload my own image and I'm going to use this image here and I want to quickly create a website for my digital media agency. Let's change this text up here. Here we have these different formatting options. I'm going to change this text to get online now and also this text. Let's get you discovered on Google. Again, I'm going to play around with these different formatting options and I want to bold this text. We can also change the font, sizing and text styles across here. Let's navigate down. I'm going to change this text. Book your free strategy session today. I'm going to make this text larger and drag this out and then click on this text block and drag that to the center. Here we have a button. We can click on this button and click on edit and change the text to book a call. However, you can add anything that you like, then add a link for this button. I'm going to change this to my new page, which is called book now and update. Now, if a potential customer clicks on this button, that's going to take them to the book now page where I can embed a form. For example, let's navigate over to book now, navigate down to forms. And here is a form I created earlier inside of Google Forms. Again, like I mentioned earlier, you can create a form automatically inside our Sheetify CRM and simply embed that form onto your contact or book now page. Let's go ahead and insert this form and navigate down and drag this out so that it fills up the entire page. And as you can see, I now have a booking form. Book your free 30 minute consultation and these are the details that we want to collect. Okay, so now that we have a functioning book now page and form, let's navigate back over to home. Hey, just quickly, before we get back into this tutorial, if you're getting value from this video, please drop a like and subscribe. This means a lot to me and ultimately helps us reach and help more small business owners across YouTube. Thank you in advance. And with that quick note, let's jump back into this video. And navigate down the page. I'm happy with this section. Also with each of the different sections, we can click here and change the style of each of the sections, or we can add our own image if we like. I like style one. Then we can replace all these static images. Simply click, and then we can crop and resize. We can also add a link, duplicate, delete, and we can also replace the image by clicking upload. I'm gonna leave these for now. Again, we can change this text, as well as the different text blocks down here, here, 
and over here. Now, as you can see, this is a footer and this section of your website page will appear on every page of your website. Here you want to add your business details. This could be a map to your business, your business name, phone number, and email. To add a new section to your website pages, simply locate content blocks, then click on the block and drag that to the section of your page that you want to add that layout to. Simply add your images. I'm going to upload an image. I like this image here. And again, and change the text. And then we can add subtext down here if we like. Again, we can link the text as well as the images. We also have other content blocks. Again, I can drag this and place that down here and add the images I want to add. Again, take your time to navigate through each of your different pages, for example, services, change the images, the text, and add the content that you want to add on each of the different pages and sections on your different pages. Let's navigate back up to about and navigate down the page. Again, I could change this to my team and add my digital media and marketing team members that are part of my agency. If we navigate down the page, we can also insert these other elements. Let's navigate down the page. For example, collapsible group. Here we can add different options in here, as well as image carousel. Add your images here. We can add a button. Simply add your button details, divider, spacer, social media links. And we can also connect other Google assets and apps. We can embed YouTube videos, add a calendar if we like, add a map, link a Google document, Google Slides, Google Sheets, embed a form like I showed you earlier, and charts. So much as possible with a Google Sites website. Then once you've spent some time playing around with your website, you've customized each website page, you've added all your pages, you've added your content, and you're ready to go live, what we first wanna do is navigate up to settings, then choose your navigation. For example, do you want your navigation on the side, like this, or do you want your navigation at the top? I prefer the top, then navigate down to brand images. Here you can upload a logo. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And as you can see, I've added my logo up here. Then navigate down to custom domains. Here you can connect a custom domain if you like. If you're interested in connecting a custom domain that you own, I will add a tutorial down below in the description which will show you how to do this. Then we have analytics. Again, this is where you can connect Google Analytics so you can understand the performance of your website online. Again, if you wanna learn how to do this, I will add the appropriate tutorial down below in the description. You can also add an announcement banner. For example, and as you can see, I added Black Friday deal. I've added the black color up here, 50% off, 50% off, and the page that this button links to, which is our services page, open a new tab. I can choose to show this announcement banner on my homepage only or all pages. Okay, I'm happy with that, let's close this. Now, something that people are not familiar with is you can add an online store, a e-commerce storefront to your Google site, which means people can purchase products from your Google site. If you're interested in learning how to turn your Google site's website into an online store, I will add the appropriate tutorial down below in the description. Now, when you're ready to publish your website, simply navigate up to publish, then add your business name. Then once you've added your business name, come down and make sure anyone can view your site and then click on publish. And congratulations, just like that, your website is now live online. You now have a fully functional Google Sites website that can be discovered on Google Search, as well as other search engines. Now, if you're interested in learning more about SEO, search engine optimization, which is the process of optimizing your website to get discovered on Google and other search engines, then I'll add the relevant tutorial down below in the description. If you're after a more comprehensive website, I created a 30 minute video that will dive deeper into all the different elements and sections that we covered in this tutorial. If you're interested in this deeper overview, I will link that video down below in the description. However, that is how you can build a free website with Google Sites in minutes. If you have any questions, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everyone.